I stand between Dan and Nancy. Always. Yes. And um, I have to tell you, week after week, it never gets old watching Dan Castellaneta go from voice to voice to voice. You know, he'll have an entire page of dialogue just with characters that only he does. Mayor Quimby, Homer, Grandpa, um, Groundskeeper Willie, and it's just all him. And I could watch that all day long, all day long. Um, what's great, what's, so Julie stands across the room for me, and Julie, one of, one of her, um, I feel like one of her, the touchstones of her performance is she really, really, really connects with you, looks you in the eye, you know, she gets her eyes off the page to address you if you're the person in the scene that she's speaking to as Marge or Patty or Selma. Um, and sometimes it's a little, uh, it's a little intimidating, <laughs> you know, she's very, she's very intense that way. But um, I have such respect for that. Nancy stands behind, beside me. So we, if we do lines together, we'll look at each other. We have sort of the silent count now that, you know, it, again, like such a well-oiled machine. Um, and then we, we'll do the line together. It's hard, again, because you can't go off mic because she's beside me if we're having lines to each other to turn to her. Mm. So it's that, it's that intimate. Yes. Yeah, it's quite small. And the funny thing is, we used to record in the basement of the Daryl Zanuck Theater. It was a massive space and it was like, uh, there's a screen there and I think maybe sometimes they used to have um, small orchestras there, but orchestra, right? It was big, the space was big. Then they built us our own, uh, a brand new studio and it was like 25% the size. <laughs> no sofa, because there's no room. Um, it's kind of hilarious.